Hello, hello, hashtag health, wealth, life, day 214. Quick one about exercise today, quick one. Do you wanna know which is the best exercise to give you the most bang for your buck? Well, I asked the question on uh, some social media platforms today, having a few conversations. So Michael said uh, squats and deadlifts, Adriana said mountain climbers, Norianne said hit on a trampoline or a trampette. Uh, ben said sleep, interesting. I wouldn't consider exercise a sleep, but I do think, you know, I talk about it a lot. It's very important. I wouldn't, ex wouldn't call it an exercise though. Anna said hit and heavy lifting. I'm with you there. Anna and, and uh, Virginie said swimming. Pete and Alvin, how are you? Alvin, good to chat earlier, mate. Um, let's have a chat on the phone sometime soon. So what is my my uh, recommendation? That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> what is my recommendation for the best exercise bang for your buck. Now, if you look in my book, Health Wealth, it's available on Amazon. It costs you seven quid if you're in England. Uh, I think it's set at $7 as well in the States. It, I take you through the top eight exercises. And number one is the king of all exercises, in my opinion, is the squat. Now, when you squat, you squat about 75%. You have to say about 75% of your own body weight um, because some of because it's on gravity, right? So you're not squatting your feet or your shins, really, anything below your knee. But because you move from the knee, hinge from the knee. But uh, anything else you add to it, we can play around with the rep range. So the squat is the number one, number one bang for your buck. But what I wanna give you today is something that's actionable. I want these videos to be really easy, really simple for you to take away and apply the message. So the me and I, what I wanna be really clear about what the message is, is usually one message, really one clear message in each video. And this one today is squat, squat today, if you're not squatting every day, you should be squatting at least every other day. Now, the reason why I say the squat is the king because you're, you're unhindered. You don't need a gym. You could squat now if you want to make it harder. And you can say, I could do 100 squats full depth, ass to grass. Excuse the expression, but that's what we want. We want that depth. Carmen, how are you? Um, you want to get that depth. Hold on to a door frame. Get all the way down. If you want to make it harder, try one-legged squats. And we can play around with the rep range on that. You might do one. You might start off with one for uh, one one-legged squat on each leg every day for seven days. Then on the eighth day, you might try and do one and a half. Maybe you go halfway down and back up. And then keep increasing it until you can get eight to 12 on each leg. Jay, how are you, mate? Long time no see. I hope you're well. Um, Play around with the rep ranges, basically. If you can get yourself in the gym, even better, because then we can play around and manipulate the exercise, the range of motion, the exercise, and all that. But basically, squat. Squat, squat, squat. The other exercise I would give you, because you're unhindered, and then we get an upper and a lower body, you could do a set of squats, set of push-ups. Now, do full body push-ups. If you want to make them harder, raise the feet up. That's an inclined, uh, a declined, actually, push-up. It's harder. Uh, if you want to make it easier, drop the knees down, do kneeling push-ups. Simple stuff, right? Simple stuff that you can action today. You could actually do it today. I would suggest getting these exercises done as early as possible. So if you saw my video the other day, what should you do in the morning? And my recommendation was a few movements of something. A few movements of something. So that could be squats, that could be push-ups, right? And get 10, 10 to 12, 10 to 15, and do that regularly, regularly. Maybe you alternate them. Maybe you do squats one day, push-ups the next, whatever. Play around with it and keep building up. Over a week, two weeks, look to increase. That's it, simple. Biggest bang for your buck, is the exercise, it is the king. If you get my book, Health Wealth, available on Amazon, it goes through the eight main exercises. If you master, you will rip your body to shreds easily, easily. We have to look at the diet as well, but they're the best exercises you should do. All right, anyway, check it out if you want. Press that share button, let's have a conversation about this. Let me know what is the exercise that you've gained the most benefit from. What have you been doing that's given you the most return for your time invested? Let me know. Pop it in the comment box. Let's continue the conversation. Press that share button and I'll see you tomorrow. Happy squatting. And always remember, because I nearly forgot, but you should always remember. Ginny, how are you? Good to see you. That uh, happy is a skill that you can learn and squatting regularly, if not every day, every other day, is a better way to bring out your better self, better ass for sure. Helps to tone the glutes, helps to tone the quads. Uh, can you post the Amazon link to your book? Yes, Alvin, I will post the Amazon link to, link to my book straight after this. Thanks, mate. Um, so let's go get some health wealth. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have an amazing rest of the evening.